what a change a month makes. A month ago there was four foot of snow, now there's four foot of water. I'd pretty much worked for the last two weeks straight. I finally got a day off and I'd heard Strawberry was fishing well, so I decided to head up there. I usually kick around the Chicken Creek area in my float tube, but today I just wanted to fish from shore, so I headed towards the Soldier Creek side. I haven't really fished Strawberry from shore before, so when I saw this canyon that didn't have anybody else in it, I knew it was the spot for me. Part of unwinding for me is just being by myself. The quality of the fishing is secondary. However, today I had both solitude and good fishing. An are. even better combination. A slowly stripped black woolly bugger seemed to be the ticket. They just really couldn't resist. There didn't seem to be a lot of rhyme or reason to the fish. The rainbow? I'd catch an 8 inch rainbow and then the next fish would be a 16 inch cut. But no matter their size, the one thing they seemed to be was hungry. This little strip and pause technique worked perfectly. I didn't record every fish I caught, but they all seemed plenty healthy. And off he goes. I was really surprised, even after a couple of hours, except for an occasional boat passing by, I still had this little cove to myself. I'd always heard that right after I softened strawberry was the time to catch some good sized fish. That's a nice fish. And, and there certainly were some nice sized fish cruising the shore. Fishing from shore was a lot more fun than fishing You're from the float tube, to be honest. Except about every tenth cast, I'd lose my fly on the back cast and have to retie. I was running out of black woolly Oh, bugs. that's a nice fish. Ah, uh, it's a nice fish. To be honest, the fishing was a little too easy. You're long and skinny, not too fat. So after I released this big cut, I decided to go do a little hike and try and see if I can find there some sheds. Go. I'm not particularly good at shed hunting, and I don't really have any secret spots. I average about 10 miles to the shed on a good day. But this afternoon, what I was really after was a nice vigorous hike, and this location was perfect. So it's looking promising, but it's raining pretty good. Just got a emergency alert. Uh, warning of flash floods. I'm about an hour from the truck, maybe a little less. My plan was to go up on top of that mountain there, look around, but with the lightning, I don't think that's a good idea. So we're gonna stay a little lower. Looks like there's been a bunch of elk holed up down up against this cliff face at one point or another. Water in the desert. I don't think I've ever seen water back in here actually the first dead animal I've come across from this year. Like a young elk. I usually try and focus on finding elk sheds. I've walked past many a deer antler, but it's a little harder to walk past a six-point bull elk shed without noticing it. Well, you've got a heck of a view from up here. The rain and the thunderstorms have stopped for now. I usually look for elk sheds a little higher, but with the impending rain, I didn't want to risk muddy roads, so I decided to look at the lower, slower level. It's a pretty good sized canyon there. Eventually I want to end up over on those cliffs there. I'll hike back to the car that way. Look for sheds as I go through there. But I definitely don't want to drop all the way down in there and then back. The ridge right up here. I've seen more animal tracks up in here than probably anywhere else this whole hike. 
open area shed. I made it on top of the next ridge. It's clear that everything's not as easy as it would seem. Two ridges back. What looks like a nice smooth meadow from two ridges back is actually a meadow with like 30 foot dirt cliff canyons running through it. Um, chances of easily being able to make your way across that are pretty slim. So I think I'm going to cut off to the left and then when I can find a way across that then I'll head out to those rocks and then work my way back to the truck. Well here's my second dead animal from this year. Looks like a deer. Number three. So I think I'm just going to see if I can find a place to cross that big old dirt canyon and then work my way through there. And Getting through the main gully wasn't as hard as I feared. However, instead of going left like I'd planned on, I went right, which led to a few problems later. The lizards are out. That's a deep little dirt gully there. Seems like this is about the 15th dirt gully I've come across. Getting in there would be easy. Getting out could be tough. So I'll just have to work my way up around. I think I put in pretty close to 10 miles. Couldn't have been 10 miles though because I didn't find a, an antler and that's what it takes me to find an antler. It's about 10 miles. It was a heck of a hike. It was a good time. I'm pretty sure I know where I'm at. If, I, if I'm where I think I am, I come around this corner and I should see my truck. But uh, sometimes my directions aren't that precise. But in this case, it looks like we're good. But it was a good hike. It was a good time. I'll probably be back out before the year's over. Today had been the perfect combination of easy and hard. I headed home ready to face another week.